What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another great edition of No Love Philly, the podcast dedicated to artists, activists, musicians, comedians, breweries, basically anybody in the city of Brotherly Love and the surrounding area that make this place as awesome as it is. Uh, this time around, uh, we have a super fun uh, interview. We headed out to Southampton to interview Craig Labor, Sean Lally, Adam Pluccino, and Mike Ritz of Space Pizza. Um, we had fun, man. We drank some beers. It was a good time. Uh, we talked about their live shows. Um, packed with everything from whipped cream to costumes to nudity uh talked about fans who actually know their music uh, a lot of sing-alongs that go on in the crowd uh we talk about how uh they got caught up in the pizza gate scandal um it's a it's a super fun interview man these were really cool dudes they're really fun to hang out with man they do an awesome live show um i recommend anybody check them out when they, when they can um, and then, so what we're going to do now is go ahead to our show list this is sponsored by the hook journal. Um, you need to check out the hook journal. If you want to know what's going on in the scene, uh, you want your album reviewed, uh, you, you, you want to write, uh, for them, hit them up. I know that Emily is definitely looking for some writers right now. Um, so this, this week's show list is sponsored by the hook, super great partner, um, awesome people, uh, g- g- great product, man. You got it. You have to go to the Hook Journal. You got to just save it on your web browser, or whatever you do. Um, it's a, it's an awesome site, man. Um, so this this time in shows we have Sunday, September third, Desolated Purgatory, Easy Money, Black Mass, Joy at the Fire, and that's on Sunday, September third at six p.m. And then September third at eight p.m. you have PHL nine three, Brandon Can't Dance. Uh, Gloop, uh, Rest in Peace Eternal, Knife Play, um, taking place at Whole Foods West. Um, That's Whole, H-O-L-E, Foods West. I have no idea where that's at. Um, Tuesday, September 5th, you have Ellison Jackson and Big Brutus with Kennedy Shaw, Tapes and Tubes at Pharmacy. Uh, And then Tuesday, September 5th, you also have Trouble Boys with the Up, Up, Ups and Dark Web 9.5. And Everybody Hits Philadelphia in Philadelphia. Uh, Wednesday, September 6th, you have Moon King, Cones, Mahogany, Carol um, at uh, the Sound Hole in Philly. Then you have Star Castile live at SOBs in New York City. Um, you have uh, PHL, uh, Friday, September 8th, you have uh, Witch Trail, Grave Turner, Demo Release Party, and Zorn at the Sound Hole in Philadelphia. Uh, you have the Metal Sing Along at the Barbary. That should be fucking fun. Um, Dead Flower Circus Sideshow Fall Tour. I emailed them. I would really like to get them. Um, I would like to get them on the show as well because it sounds fun. Uh, but you have the Dead Flower Circus Sideshow Fall Tour um, kickoff show, uh, Taboo Lounge and Sports Bar, uh, and then you have uh, set Saturday September 9th, um, and I guess another Fall Tour kickoff at Taboo Lounge. I guess it's two days. Um, and then at 10 p.m. you have Limited at uh, 1214 South 8th Street. Uh, you have Sundrop Presents Brain Fest. Um, and then you have at 8 p.m. on uh, Saturday, September 9th, you have Dent May, Knee High, Go Cozy at the Sound Hole. Uh, Sound Hole seems like an interesting place, man, so we need to check that out. Um, maybe we can get our sponsor, The Hook Journal, to do an interview on them. Or maybe I can do an interview and post it on The Hook Journal. But everybody should be going to The Hook Journal. Um, so that's it for the show list. Oh, wait, I do have some more from Chal Famador. There's two uh, big ones coming up on August 31st. Uh, that's coming up this week. You have Eagle Daddy, Illiterate, um, Illiterate Light, and Trash Boy going down Thursday, 730 uh, on August 31st at Chalfamador. And then November 11th, you have Great How Have You Been Fest. And that is actually something that I'm really looking forward to. There's going to be a shitload of bands. Um, I want to help uh, uh, do something with that. Um, I'm going to catch with some some guys that we interviewed uh, for the last one, Good How Are You Fest, because uh, I have something planned for that, man. I'm, I'm working on it. All right. Uh, so make sure to check out the Hook Journal dot com for all of your scene news and uh make sure to like us on facebook instagram uh i think that's all i have youtube patreon um and 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 spread the word man got some stickers in can't wait to share that with you guys but uh here we go man here is our interview with space pizza enjoy everybody check in that mic check check coming through check all right, man, and we are on, uh, so everything is fucking, uh, it is up and running. Um, so you guys are out in the, the fucking sticks. I mean, you guys are far out, right? Um, I was going to, 
Oh, I don't know. Not too far out. No, no. Well, yeah, there's just so much fucking land here. I was like, what in the fuck, dude? Like, where am I going? Um, and I was going to start out with, uh, um, I- I'm super disappointed, guys, because there's no fucking pizza here, and I don't see any spaceships anywhere. So, uh, there was uh, a pizza and a spaceship downstairs. Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, you're right. There was. There was pizza and uh, uh, spaceships downstairs. Um but then you guys unloaded all this free swag and beer on me, and so I, how in the hell can I possibly be disappointed? Um, so th- thank you very much for your hospitality. Thank Cheers you. to that, gentlemen. Thank you very much. That was a uh, that was a mic cheer, by the way. Um, uh, who, but also, by the way, whoever is talking, you probably have to hold this microphone pretty close because uh, it is a. I have two very cheap microphones: a Cobalt CO9, which is my really good mic. And a ten dollar Radio Shack mic, and that's how uh, I've been making this. Uh, yeah, we use that down in the basement. Too. Okay, cool. All right, man. Awesome. Um, so, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about yourselves? Why don't you uh, tell us who you are? Who is Space Pizza? Yeah, <laughs> Space Pizza is a band, Space right? Space Pizza, the band. We started about two years ago uh, with uh, friend Zach who moved out to Colorado, and then we got this lovely gentleman next to me, Adam. To play some bass and sing and write songs with us about a year ago. So you guys were from originally Colorado? No. Oh, no. I thought that's what you said. I'm sorry. No, our ex our ex bass player moved to Colorado and Oh, you know. okay, I got it. The ex bass player moved to Colorado. Yeah. So, so we had been to find a new this band for about a year. We've been space pizza for about two years now. Bitchin'. All right, man. Bitchin' um, indeed. I love that term. Thank you, dude. I do yeah. too. I use it all the time. Uh, you guys, did did we already introduce ourselves? No. Oh, all right, go for it. Let's do that. All right, this is Craig Labor. I play drums for Space Pizza. This is Adam Pluccino. I play bass, also for Space Pizza. That's fucking Italian as fuck. Am I wrong? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone out there. Uh, my name is Mike Ritz, and I uh, play guitar for Space Pizza. My name is Sean Lally. I also play guitar with Space Pizza and... Uh, company on vocals as well awesome oh that was the other thing that i was going to add once i said i was super disappointed is fuck you i hate you (laughs) and that is a uh that's a space pizza reference for those not in the know right um but uh by the way this is an awesome fucking pad dude i don't know what you do for a living but it is clearly fucking gnarly (laughs) oh okay all right my pad is sweet because i have lots of roommates okay awesome yeah, this is uh, <laughs> uh, three roommates. It's not too bad. You have to hold it super close, holding the mic very close now. Yeah. Um, I so hope you can hear me. You guys actually came w- by way of uh, wildflowers. Um, yeah, yeah, wildflowers. Those dudes are dope, man. Yeah, uh, they're and fucking uh, awesome to hang out with. By the way, absolutely. They fucking know how to good party. Time. Yeah, they do, man. I always have a good time with those dudes. Absolutely. Um, so you guys have been together for two years. How what's the how many albums do you guys have out right now? Uh, we just have one album out. We've been doing a series of EPs. We're about to get started recording on our next album uh, in the fall. So uh, we just decided to put out an EP, a second EP, and then a third longer EP. And then we just put it all together for Spotify because we didn't want to pay for uh, three separate two-song EPs. Oh, wow. So is that what you have to do? I'm not even familiar with it. So. Yeah, Spotify. You kind of have to. How does Spotify work? Do you guys get like, uh, what's the, you know, I haven't figured it out yet. Okay. I haven't gotten any checks. So so. I feel like that's how <laughs> we'll I feel see. about the internet. I don't fucking don't know yeah, shit. Yeah. Uh, Spotify is fun to use. I use it all the time. I got premium for my family. And, it's, it's and all you do groovy. is blare uh, space pizza on it. And uh, yeah, if, well, if I want to get my plays up. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so. You guys have got these, these what What are the names of the EPs so far? <laughs> the first one is called Fuck You, I Hate You. That's a great one, by the way. Thank you very you, much. I, I jammed that at work today. Oh, nice. I did. Yeah, I wrote, we uh, wrote Fuck You as a homage to Road Rage. Oh, right yeah, on. So is that from driving, driving Philly? <laughs> just driving everywhere. Okay. Yeah. I any think of you it been was in from any Philly, actually. So, uh, have any of you all been in any good road rage uh, incidents? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, I don't think I want to talk about that because I might get arrested. Oh wow, man, that deep. <laughs> no, that's, no, it's that's not that bad. I'm just joking around. Um, so you, so 
What, my road rage story? Yeah, I, I uh, got in a road rage pit, and I uh, punched some dude in the face and knocked him out. <laughs> that wasn't even the one I was thinking. That, that's uh, not the one. That's oh, great. Yeah, yeah, no, that was scary, and I felt really bad after. Don't, don't punch anyone in the face. Don't pull over if someone waves you over. It's a bad idea. Wow, man. Lesson learned, right? Uh, so, yeah. So I, is the, I guess the second EP is a little bit more calm? Uh, the second EP, what was that one called? Oh, Eat It Up. Oh, Eat It Up, yeah. Eat It Up was uh, two songs, You Know Me and Always. And those songs are kind of about doing whatever the fuck you want to do whenever you want to do it. I love that. Yeah. That's so my favorite shit right there. Yeah. Just um, don't, you know, like rape babies or <laughs> rape at all. Rape is bad. Rape is bad. Don't vote for Trump. <laughs> that's uh, bad too. Um, so you guys, uh, you guys. So that's the that's the second one. What's this? You guys are re- working on your third one, and you already have your third one out. Uh, the third one's out, but it's all kind of it's a collection of the first two plus several other tracks, and uh, it's just called Space Pizza. It's our first record on Spotify, and it's kind of just a collection of everything. It's so funny. Yeah. Say, go for it. We also did a Halloween yeah Halloween EP last year. We did a a series with a bunch of different Philadelphia musicians. We asked them if they wanted to put out a Halloween compilation, and then it, we ended up doing it with a bunch of really cool bands called uh, Thirteen Songs, Thirteen Songs to Eat Brains to. Yeah, that was the other including one, including Wildflowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was uh, uh, Song Seat Brains Two that I saw. <laughs> yeah. That I saw that. Yeah, that's uh, that's our Halloween EP. We'll be playing that on our at our Halloween show at, here. Yeah, well, not in our house, but at a local pub called soon to be called Archie's. It's now Big Heads Town and Country, and it's gonna be a fucking shit show. I love shit shows. Oh, you better be there, man. Oh, dude. Um, Let's get plastered and dress and drag and, you know, have fun. So fucking, uh, uh, yeah, man. So you could, what what I found so funny is that, um, what I found so funny was that uh, uh, your music, I was like, holy fuck, man. If there's any band not to take serious, it's these guys. <laughs> these guys do not give a fuck, right? Yeah. Um, but yet, at the same time. <laughs> You guys have like a pretty strict fucking schedule when it comes to like uh, practicing, performing. Like it was kind of get, getting this interview was locked down was kind of like, uh, well, we got, you know, we got practice this time. You know, we're going to run out. How does so much seriousness like turn into so much? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, can you explain that to me? Like, um, what, like how, what? Yeah. I mean, I'd say a lot of that probably comes down to Craig over here a lot. <laughs> I think out of the four of us, Craig probably doesn't give the fuck the most. <laughs> um, so he definitely brings that out in all of us. Um, yeah, I think musically we try to keep it, you know, pr- pretty strict in our, you know, practice regimen, and we try to practice at least once a week and and keep the, you know, music tight as much as we can. But you know, you always have to ha- kind of have fun with it, and you know, kind of see where that takes you. So thank you, Craig, for bringing that out in all of us. So who's the most serious? I guess I'm probably the most serious, right. yeah. This is perfect. Yeah. All right. What What is your day job? Uh, I just quit my job, actually. I'm Fuck going yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> awesome, man. Uh, yeah, what were so. you doing before? Uh, before I was working at a music store, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Easy job to quit then, yeah, right? Yeah, All right, right yeah. All right, right on. Yeah, it's kind of happy to leave. I, I was thinking like analyst of some sort. No, you know, no, sort of not, not quite that serious. Right on. That's awesome. Uh, what's your day job? I work I work at a thrift store. Oh, even less of a fuck to give. No way. Yeah, <laughs> which I am probably about to quit. Oh, yay. This cheers is, to that. Yeah, cheers to almost cheers. quitting. Yeah. Now booking shows. <laughs> cheers. Quitting our jobs. Job. Playing music full time. Uh, so, uh, you guys are doing you guys are doing a lot of fucking shows though, right? I mean, you guys are constantly performing. Is that right? Yeah, we try to perform as much as we can. Right now, we're focusing on booking tours. And Dude, you're gonna have songs. to hold that closer. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so me. sorry. I apologize. Maybe it's me. I'm just kind of whispering in the mic soft. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you guys, you guys play a lot of out of town shows too, right? I mean, uh, we're we're working on. You know, we played 
you know, the East Coast a little bit, but nothing too extreme yet. We're working on booking a tour through New England in November, and that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start at the pharmacy, which I'm really excited. I haven't played that venue yet. And, uh, I haven't even been I to that venue. I can't wait, yeah. We're starting it. That's in Philly, and it's, from what I hear, a really killer venue. So Yeah, dude, I hear a lot of great things about pharmacy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so do you guys have... Like, the other thing that I that I loved about this band, especially like getting to go downstairs and like uh, to your basement and check everything out, is this huge like um, there's just so much rad art. Uh, and then you guys got this pizza and this fucking spaceship um, that that you guys are, are are doing. Who who did the pizza and the spaceship? Um, none of the visual art is actually really by any of us. Some of it will probably be by Craig, um, but. Craig's uh, fiance Andrea made the large cutouts that you are referencing, and um, our buddy Rich um, did our like general logo and some of the stuff that we have on on the pins and stickers and T-shirts. Um, so, and then a lot of the the canvas paintings you saw down there were by Craig's older brother. So, I d- I don't uh, draw anything. I just <laughs> <laughs> I draw riffs on the guitar. That's about it. Fucking. Um, it's it's super like I don't know, it's trippy shit, man. Like everything down there was just like <laughs> so fucking trippy. I was like, yeah, man. Like uh, th- the other thing that I noticed, and, and I could be completely fucking wrong, man. But I hear like even in um, I saw one of your videos, and it sounds almost like um, I, I know it's a guitar riff. I know once I heard it, I should just pull it up. Um, but I felt like. A tinge of sublime or um, very like chill groove type of music. Where does that come from? Where's that? Where's that influence from? Yeah, definitely the yeah. There's there's a lot of uh, different musical backgrounds going on. I think in this band, uh, Craig is definitely more punk rock, glam rock, and just rock in general. Um, I I grew up like I listened to like jam bands a lot when I was younger. In fact, me and Craig first meeting each other was he, he told me that fish sucks and and, <laughs> I, th- and I told him that uh, you know, no effects or whatever T shirt he was wearing sucks and been best friends. But then but then we, yeah, but then we became best friends. And uh I think Mike's pretty similar to me and also a lot of classic rock and Stevie Ray Vaughan and uh blue shredding and uh, and Adam is, you know, mixed bag, right? You know? Yeah, which is pretty much what I, I'm like. I said I came up kind of listening to a lot of jam bands, but these days I I like to listen to just everything. I think it helps you um, just develop as a musician and and as like a, an appreciator of art in general. I'm trying to see which one. <laughs> That's not that one. That one. Yeah. yeah. This is our tune countdown. I mean, sir, I this mean, was the thing is I hate playing music on here because there's always some I don't know why I've, I've been reported before for it not being my music so um. that was uh, that was our last show with um, our bass player that moved to Colorado at at Squirrel Murphy's which is like right around the corner from where we are sitting right now oh really oh, that's awesome um, but I love that whole I think that it's like a trigger for me. Like I, I want to party when I hear that, and I don't know why. It makes no sense. Um, party riff. Yeah. How is that? How is that that particular part played? Uh, I use a uh, you know pitch shifter and uh, some some delay, and that and I and I played the part. Ah, okay, cool. Because uh, it sounds like uh, xylophone. Is that I don't. It sounds like very Caribbean almost. Yeah, um, um, yeah, it's it's just the that high pitch kind of an echo and reverb and, and delay all mixing together with through a cell phone too. It helps. <laughs> the other the other thing that I uh, that I noticed when when you know searching through your your array of videos um, is that you guys were playing and fucking people actually knew the lyrics to your fucking songs. Yeah, I'm always surprised about that too. Actually, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I was I was previously speaking with Sean Lally, by the way. I'm Adam. I don't know. We don't have like <laughs> segments, 
We're passing around one microphone yeah, right now. Yeah, it is, now. dude. It, yeah, it's, I'm just nobody's tr- ever going to know. It, yeah, I'm trying fucking to... Fucking audience is probably one person as far as they're concerned. But. Th- that's the most important person in the universe. Yeah, man. Yeah. It is the universe. How yeah. about that? Let's the universe is us. <laughs> so you were saying, though, man, so um, you were talking about that you're always surprised that, that people know your music. Yeah, it's great. Yo, like, when people, like, get down and dance and, like, sing along I when we're playing. That. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, and the other thing that, that blew my mind, it, that blows my mind talking to you guys, is you guys are talking about there's this fucking scene uh, outside of Philadelphia. I told you, when I rolled up here, I was like, there's nothing but fucking, I don't know if I'm going to a clan rally or a band's house. Like, what is going on? It's both. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, like, it seems like so, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's so rural out here. But there's still a fucking there's a scene on its own out here. Is that right? Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I live in Philly. All these guys live out here. Um, oh well, aren't you better than everybody else? Well, <laughs> you know, I uh, consider That's like myself the second a little time more cultured. That. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the microphone, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, where, wherever there's music, I think people will go. And this is, it's populated around here. It's just cornbread suburbs and, you know, people in the suburbs like music too, so. Yeah, well, it's it's odd for me because I, I live in the burbs too and, you know, around the Norristown area and there isn't shit out there, man. There's nothing out there. Really? So when you guys are, yeah, no, dude, there's not shit. Talk, talk to the wildflowers, they'll tell you. It fucking sucks. Like, um, you know, I was talking with them as well. It'd be like, it would be dope if we had a venue, just a fucking venue, like to be able to like have something. But you guys are talking, there's like two or three different venues out here. Is yeah, that right? well, Craig uh, and Archie uh, just got this place, Big Heads Town and Country. They're changing it to Archie. So, like, you know. Big Head's y- actually one of my favorite characters off of Silicon Valley, but I'm pretty yeah, sure it yeah, has yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with that. But <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Also, a great rocker is Modern Life Derek. Okay, all right. Ed. Ed. Um, <laughs> Rocco. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, just starting the scene, you know. So I think that's how you get people to know your lyrics i guess if you'd start the scene yourself so like out in norristown maybe like if you start something up and invite people out to a place like i guess could blossom from there i'm assuming that you have to find a spot and i feel like there's not a spot there which is weird because there should be because it like we have that whole like main street you know what i mean you would think that somebody by now would have fucking gotten a liquor license and opened up a spot don't fucking look at me. There's I'm not no doing liquor it. in Norristown. No, 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 no there, there, <laughs> there is. But what, I, what I'm saying though is that there's not like, I, I guess maybe because it's a, I don't know if it's like an older community or or what it is. We have Five Saints Distillery, but it's a distillery and all they sell is whiskey and they stop selling after eleven. I guess because there is distillery and so they have certain rules about that. Yeah, we have a lot of archaic Quaker liquor laws in Pennsylvania. Why is that? What I don't understand. You're fr- you're from Texas, right? Right. Exactly yeah. Right. So, yeah, th- moving to, to Pennsylvania th- must have been a culture shock, you know, legislatively. Uh, Dude, <laughs> Texas, in, Texas, <laughs> in Texas, I can go to, uh, I could go to a 7-Eleven and buy beer. So when I got here, I had no fucking transportation. I walked my fucking ass in the cold to a 7-Eleven. I'm like, <laughs> hey, where's the beer? They're like, we don't sell beer here. And I was like, fuck this place. What did I do? Why did I move out of here? What happened? And it took me a long time to get adjusted to the fact that if you want more than a six pack, you have to go to a god or a twelve pack. You have to go to a beer depot, yeah. and it was just the, that was one of the. It's strange getting it's getting better. I, yeah, you're allowed to sell wine and beer in some same stores now. I think you might have to have a connection or something. Also, uh, Pennsylvania, I feel, or like Philadelphia, is very like the most corrupt city ever. Uh, but they're just really good at it. Okay, so so really good at being corrupt. Yeah. Hey man, we got to be good at something. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Eagles suck, but yeah. hey, corruption is number one. Yeah, I'm gonna pass the mic to you, Craig. Talk so about corruption. No. <laughs> Talk about corruption. Well, yeah. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask how. When did you all start noticing people fucking knowing the lyrics to your songs? When did you like actually notice that? I think it was in the basement, uh, probably about a year and a half ago when we first came out with "Fuck You." Uh, and people, you know, heard it the first lyrics. time, and it's easy really lyrics. easy to remember. <laughs> so, and everyone can relate to it because there's not a day in my life where I don't say "fuck you" to someone, whether in a joking way or in a serious way. Yeah, fuck you, Adam. <laughs> See, aww, you guys See, are so that's cute. Yeah, thank you. Um, he just scooped my patty. 
<laughs> I've never heard that term, and uh, I love it. Well, it's when you take your hand and you put it under your man boob, you know, yeah. and then you scoop upward. Yeah, we all have moobs. Scooping the patty. All right, man. Um, Scooping the patties. So that was that was in your basement. You, uh, you, you uh, yeah. after a year and a half. Um. What is it like, like, what is it like playing shows and you've got people fucking singing along? Like, what is going through your mind at all when that happens? Uh, it's really exciting, you know. It's like, yo, you wrote a catchy song. That's like, you know, when people recognize that and sing along, it's really heartwarming and makes you feel good and makes you want to take your clothes off. You should. That I do. Dude, you were talking Come about Come see Space Pizza, you'll yeah, see. dude. Space Pizza in a strip show. You guys were saying you needed more visuals, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I do. So yeah, I strip. At for night. For you. Goodwill during yeah. the day. Yeah, right? well, I just strip there, too. Even, even. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they pay me for. Um, so, fucking, you guys, how, how long do you think it's going to be until you're done recording this new EP? Uh, how long until we're done? I'd say it should be out in the winter. I'd say, you know, late winter early in 2018 so you guys record all that here uh we have been but i think we're going to go through a friend of ours or friends uh circadian rhythms they record all of their own stuff with really great gear and they get amazing sound we were talking about having them record for us mike ekstrom he's he's awesome circadian rhythms is awesome check them out another mastering great philly man mastering where, where are you guys looking at doing mastering uh, mastering, I usually go through a friend of mine, Leandro Gonzalez, who uh, owns a record pressing plant in New Jersey. Called what the fuck? There's a record pressing plant here? In New Jersey. Well, still, I don't give a shit. That's yeah, close enough. Yeah, what what part um, of Jersey? Oh, it's like right on the right on the cusp of Brooklyn. So what right next fuck? to New York. It's called Stereo Disc, and they do some great work. Friends, Eric, Eric Kramer, he just put out a new record, and he got a press through them. It sounds amazing. Whoa, dude! So are you, you? So you guys are pressing vinyl for this one? Uh, yeah, I'd hope so. Holy shit, dude! Yeah, I wa- bring wildflowers again. They they did that shit. That yeah, shit's absolutely. expensive, bro. Oh, it's so definitely expensive. I put out a couple records before, and it's no joke. Oh, you've I've lost done this money. whole process before. Yeah, every time I've lost money. <laughs> <laughs> every time I've lost money, yeah. keep doing it. Yeah, right? well, I love I love records. I got a nice. How many records have you have you put together? Uh, I think. Vinyl records, I put out two of my own, and then I did, oh, three of my own, and uh, I put out two other records, one Circadian Rhythms, and the other is Meg O'Donnell. She's another Philly artist that is really good. We put out her record a couple years ago, and just, you know, trying to keep vinyl alive and well, and so share uh, new music I w- with I wanna people. I want to talk about that, because I, I haven't, uh, fuck. Give me a second here. So sure. yeah, so so there's this vinyl press. You guys are doing it. You've already done vinyl several fucking times. Yes. You did solo stuff, right? Yeah, it was uh, me and my brother. A little side project we had called the Orange Apples, uh, which uh, we decided to take off the internet. Why? Uh, so we can reuse the songs. <laughs> <laughs> it, did the, Sometimes did you go through it, you know, you did, know, did writer's block, and you gotta steal your own <laughs> material. So did a lot of that end up on on, on the on previous EPs? Um, no, it's just kind of taking parts here and there, not really uh, putting full songs that we've recorded, you know, six, seven, eight years ago. I'm not really trying to put that out, but sometimes you have a song and you steal a riff. Yeah, you, s- you steal a riff from it. I can. So that. Ha- Anybody else here released any records or done anything like that in the past? Is this everybody's first? Wow. Wow, man. So you think it'll be done by winter. Are you guys planning anything for spring? Like you're talking about you're going to do that that tour through New England. Yeah, we're going to do that in November. Do you have anything in mind for 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 spring? spring? No, we don't have anything in mind yet. We want to try to get the rest of the record written. Yeah, we're going to. We're gonna tour with Wildflowers if they're down, uh, I'm and sure we're gonna you. fight them on stage every yeah. night. Yeah, they're so good that I want to fucking punch their face. <laughs> Dude, I have some really great footage of fucking of of those dudes at Slime Time fucking jamming out, man. Like, 
like really good footage. I want to put together a mini doc. I wanted to put together a mini doc about um, that good How Are You Fest. Um, because I, I, I went to that and filmed some stuff, but kind of like yeah. about I was talking about everybody's like experiences because everybody was like from different places. There's people from New York. There are people from here. There are people from Jersey. There are fucking bands that had members in three different places at once. Yeah. How do you fucking do that? You know, <laughs> um, I forgot where I was going with that, but uh, yeah, man, I if I can, I wanna I wanna do a doc, and and I had those dudes fucking they were jamming out, and I, I was like, that's some awesome B-roll, dude, yeah. all fucking like uh, banging yeah. and shit. Yeah. It's an awesome th- th- it's an awesome live show. What is your guys' live show like? <laughs> it's changed a little bit recently, yeah. We've been having a lot more fun on stage, you know, pulling out the sex toys, <laughs> pulling out some whipped cream, taking off my clothes, putting on some wigs and suits and getting sexy and that's intense, dude. Yeah. Well, is it? Be- do you have all that stuff because of the the Goodwill store? Or yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> I have an entire closet full of our wardrobe. Hey, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen come out of there? Out of the thrift store? Yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you. My first day at the thrift store, I was digging through a lovely bag of clothes that someone donated, and I finally get to the bottom of the bag. This is also where I found some of my stage gear. I was like, "Yeah, this is exciting." At the very bottom of the bag. There was a used tampon that I had to touch <laughs> with my head, <laughs> and it was fucking gross. Please don't donate used tampons, because <laughs> I have to touch them, and I wasn't cool enough to wear gloves that day. Wow, man. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I honestly Weird things. I see lots of... Uh, it's a it's a Christian organization, but I see a lot of satanic things come really? through there. So like yeah, I just what? got the satanic Bible. I picked that up because we're really into Satan, <laughs> <laughs> according, <laughs> according to uh, you know my thrift store finds and nerds on the internet who think we're a part of PizzaGate. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I got to admit, I thought of that too. I was like, I wonder. Uh, what yeah. this, you I wonder if these guys rape babies and. Worship Satan and these, these guys <laughs> don't want me to talk about this right now. Yeah. But s- seriously, like we were on band camp and we released our record, and there was a yeah, it's our claim to fame. Yeah, um, there's a, there's a bunch of people on some you know Reddit like website that are saying this band and a bunch of different Philadelphia bands are definitely part of PizzaGate and they what? definitely like rape and eat babies. That was like almost exact words that they just said for Did some reason should, that we rape and eat babies. You should have, you should have, your comment should have been, fuck, they know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All like press is good press. Geez, this man. is going to, this is going to be great. You're like, oh, you're out here in the sticks. They're talking about rape and babies. <laughs> They've got us now, apparently. Man. Now we're fucking doing that. We got like a hundred hits in one day because of this message board that associated us with <laughs> Pizzagate. So what the? F- I don't. <laughs> it's not true that we're part of Pizza. It's true that people think we are. So what was the comment though? Wait, I, I, okay. There were several comments. Okay, so what? What was being? How did they? Oh, how did I they connect I'll you open to it up. Let's pass the mic to someone that can talk about PizzaGate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, let's just I, read I all of the messages. Know it, dude. Yes, dude. Oh, all right, here, uh, Adam. Here, yes. Here's the mic. Oh, no, wait. Who needs it? Mike Ritz. Mike needs the mic. Okay, Adam's got this. Okay, so so you guys fucking, this is just when you released your EP? So how long ago was that? I don't know. When did we, or what, what was the question? When did you guys release your, la- la- when was, when did all this go down? You guys released your EP when? I think it was actually a couple months after. It was, it was kind of random. Um, but I guess we put that out in like uh, maybe m- late March or early April. And then uh, I think we got all those hits like a, a day or a, a month or two later, but yeah, uh, it wasn't immediate. But right, but still, man, that's still like strange that that fucking he's got it up. You, it's it, it was really weird. We were like, what do we do about this? <laughs> do we just ignore it? Do we, <laughs> do we like post this on Instagram and make it a joke? <laughs> do we like, you know, I don't know. 
But what we, did we, you do? We just ignored it until right now. I guess now we're talking about it. Holy there are legitimately fuck. people that thought, although there was one comment that I think was like the last thing that somebody posted was like, they're not actually associated with Pizzagate for real, but they aren't very good. <laughs> no way these guys are actually involved with Pizzagate, but they suck. <laughs> Oh, really? Another one? <laughs> That's great, dude. Yeah, dude, that'd be funny, man. The uh, Illumini, Illuminati hires shitty van for satanic worship. Hey, you know what they say about, you know, Baby the ceremony. Grateful Dead? <laughs> we'll take the gig. <laughs> the Grateful Dead worked for the CIA. Haven't you heard that one? Uh, I haven't. What is that one? Oh, well, we'll get to that after <laughs> that. You, somebody, somebody, put a, somebody note that. The CIA and the Grateful Dead. All right, let's get to these comments. All right, <laughs> First thing that was said about space pizza, I think we could probably leave it at this because it kind of says it all. It says, uh, Space Pizza, a musical band, held a gig at Orleans. Then it says, Space Pizza and its founding members are obvious pedophiles. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. They gave a bunch of Instagram posts of our pizza Baphomet design that we just put on a pin <laughs> and uh, all sorts of things. And then at the very bottom it says, and they fantasize about eating babies. Then they gave a bunch of links to where, you know, where they could listen to our songs and see our videos. So thank you for that. Uh, we like all people to listen to our music, even people who are accusing us of raping babies. <laughs> so, you know, that's wow, uh, that's how that goes, apparently. I, I wonder who you have to be, like, as a person to, like, connect to, like, make that connection and feel like you got it like you nailed it you know what i mean like this is obviously you know what it is i just wonder about people sometimes man that's just an odd thing to put yeah. on the internet uh, it really is but they they didn't just do it with us they targeted several other philadelphia bands too i don't know if the other bands found out about it, but one band in particular that was right on the forefront with us was sex with roller coasters which is another i keep hearing band. about them too and uh <laughs> If you're listening to this, check your Bandcamp page because people are thinking that you rape babies. Whoa, dude. Don't do that. Don't rape babies. Don't rape babies. Yeah, what dude. the fuck? How many times do I have to say? You guys are ruining our name with all the baby I raising. Know. <laughs> hey, it's, you know, we so can thank did the Clintons the, so for that. Where did the name came come from? Space Pizza. Yeah. Well, we got really high one night at band practice and we're like, oh, we should call our name like, you know fucking know whatever we were just trying to find names i forget all the really funny ones that we had but uh eventually we're just like oh let's order pizza i was like well let's go to fucking outer space space pizza and you know we just kind of got high and now i forget about it because i was high wow man that was that was totally made up We Googled it, and there was already a band called just Pizza. Actually, it was Pizza exclamation mar uh, mark. Okay. That already all right. existed. <laughs> so, all right, man. And I and I could be wrong about this, but my if my memory fucking serves correctly, that band Pizza, I believe Macaulay Culkin was in it. Oh, uh, you know, I think that was the Pizza Underground. The Pizza Underground. Which, so um, th doesn't that – well, I remember thinking that, and I was like, I wonder if that dude, like, is associated with Pizzagate, right? Like, well, what if he was one of those kids, and that's why he's all fucked up now? <laughs> Who knows? You no, know, like, I, I don't know. It was just something I thought about, man. I thought I'd share that with you. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> 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 there's, there's a, there's a bunch of like other bands with space in the name. Um, there's, especially around Philly, there's a. Uh, there's like Space Bacon and Space Jesus and the Space Cats. There's a band called Pizza Face, and um, you guys should throw an outer I don't know, space yeah. fest. Yeah. It's oh, call to arms, I guess, and unite. Yeah, dude. Uh, you should, dude. Outer space fest. You are nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, man. So, so you guys are gonna release this. You guys are gonna release this EP. And like, what's the what? What is the legit like end goal for you guys? What do you really want like out of this? Uh, we just want people to listen to our music and enough to where we can, you know, afford to keep doing it and maybe make some money as well. Hopefully, that's uh, that's obviously the goal. But um, you know, it doesn't work out 
so well for everybody. So we just try to keep uh, keep trucking away, you know, put ourselves out there. And like I said, we, or like Craig was saying, we definitely want to start leaving Philly a little bit more and farther away and just letting people hear the music. So has anybody here ever been on tour? I know nobody released an album. Just yeah. Done a few tours. This is Craig. We uh, I re- the most recent tour I went on was um, I was playing drums for Mondo Cosmo, and we just did like three, four nights in New York and one in Philly, and uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was like a very professional tour. Those guys were great, treated me really well, and it was fucking fun. We wow. played for a lot of interesting people, sold out crowds every night. It was it was cool. So fucking playing like New in New York is that hard to do? You didn't have any to deal with any of the setup or like making you know arrangements to make that happen. I had to nothing to do with uh. it. Mondo Cosmo just released their single Shine, and they needed a band to tour, so they contacted us. Archie in particular, he uh, plays in a band called Illinois, and they were really popular, and they grew up with Mondo Cosmo, so they. Uh, called him up and they brought me in because i play drums with archie all the time play with illinois for a while and it's uh it's cool they're going to be playing a show next month or something illinois and mondo cosmo at the union transfer it's going to be fucking crazy never heard of them but union transfer is a pretty big venue right yeah yeah mondo cosmo is fucking blowing up they just put out their first record and it's solid as fuck yeah played yeah, I hear Mondo Cosmo on the radio all the, time. all the time. All the ladies at the thrift store love Shine. Shine. Yeah, Shine's a hit single. They were number one on the Billboard charts when I was on tour with them. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, man. And they're from they're from Philly. Uh, originally, they're from Bucks County, this area here. But uh, now Josh Mondo lives in California ah. with his band. Wow, man. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. That's a crazy story. There's so much fucking talent in this area, man. You yeah, know, there's absolutely. There's a lot of fucking talent. It's a lot of weirdos, like Ween. Ween comes from our hometown, you Ween, know. Yeah, I and keep uh, hearing them too. Oh uh, yeah, Ween's fucking awesome. There's a, there's a lot of good bands from the area. <coughs> so what do you so what do you want out of it, man? You seem to be like something that like you you're definitely you've already released a whole bunch of music yeah. yourself you've already like yeah, done absolutely. some tours what do you what do you want out of the whole thing well I like sharing so i like to you know the only thing i'm really good at is playing the drums and writing songs about my penis and porno and drugs <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're like so uh i just you know i just want to share what i have and have fun with uh, new people and tour full time hopefully and just keep putting out music, because music and art is what saves us from Satan. D- but do you Satan's say that cool. every time you come across some like Satan literature in the store or some? Yeah, it's I guess it's a more recent thing. Ever since the Pizzagate thing, I've been questioning my <laughs> you know, my religious <laughs> views. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't know how to answer that question. That's awesome, man. No, I mean, I just I always, you know, think like for me, I can tell you right off the bat. It's like I just want to interview people forever. Like if I could just like if this could be my full time job, just interview oh, exactly. whoever, whatever, that'd That's be fucking awesome. Exactly you know what I, mean? I want to do. I don't want to work at a thrift store. I don't want to work for other people. I just want to, you know, be on the thing. road with my friends. You know, we all grew up together. We've all known each other for so many years, and oh, to no, finally no, have part. to finally have a chance to play with these guys has been a real honor. And we all played in like jazz band together. We're all friends playing basketball and shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> middle school. I was high gonna school. say, dude, like we used to. It's like I, th- I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm. F- I'm finally gauging him to where I'm like, all right, true, true, true. Wait, this is bullshit. I'm being bullshitted right now. No, it's the greatest you're shit you're ever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bullshitting you. We all did like grow up together. And had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I know, but that's what I mean. Though I'm like, that's true. That's true. Wait a minute, something feels off about yeah. this. You don't look like you play basketball. <laughs> no, no, I'm a hockey guy, I personally. <laughs> Damn, man, that's crazy. So fucking the sh- the sh- the shows outside that you say that you've been out to like Baltimore and, and those types of areas. You guys have done that collectively as a band, mm-hmm. right? We never went to Baltimore. We've been uh, like up New York a bunch. We have a lot of friends up there, so we're doing 
Penn State in a few weeks and trying to get more shows out of state. So right now we're still kind of early in the touring process. But how does that work, man? So you decide, like, what is it? You guys decide to take, like, three days off or whatever from yep, pretty day much. jobs, and then you, you roll out there. And yeah, you well, you drive Mike, out there. Mike quit his job. I quit. I'm quitting my job. These guys don't give a fuck about their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Adam likes his job, but not enough to, yeah, you know, he'd much rather and play music so for a living and the have fun. The shows that you guys do play, do you guys get paid for that? Or it's just kind of like you're just doing it for the fuck of it? Uh, we we lost money when we went to New York the last two times. So those were just kind of whatever. <laughs> they were they were fun shows, but uh, not a lot of people came out. New York's hard to get people out. I bet, dude. There's so much shit going there's on. There's so much going on. And, <laughs> uh, and Sean's got something to say. The second time we played in New York, um, we ha actually had a decent draw, but everybody came after our set <laughs> while we played. We played to an empty room, and then everyone showed up like right right at the end. Uh, kind of a bummer. But so where where in New York did you all play? Uh, the first time we played at um, uh, what was it called? Um, the Bowery Electric, and the second time was at the Pine Box Rock Shop in Brooklyn. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, we also did a. Uh, um, a show underneath a roller coaster in Wildwood um, last summer, which was uh, actually the band before us got stuck in traffic. Mike and and our other bass player. Um, this was last summer, right before we had Adam join us. Um, they almost missed the show because they were stuck in traffic, and I th I think like three bands that day got stuck in traffic. So once again, we played under a roller coaster, but to like uh, you know <laughs> ten people. Your parents made it out, I think. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah! What like? What big band would you guys like to tour with? Like, if you could tour with a with a bigger band or or cop a show with a bigger band, who, who would it oh be? Man. I think we <laughs> Radiohead. <laughs> Calling out Radiohead. <laughs> Ween, yeah, I love Ween. We all love Ween. Um, I, you know, it's hard. I think we'd all have a very a pretty different answer to that. Yeah, pretty much anybody. The sluts of tour. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, anything else that you, uh, people should know about you guys? Anything else you'd like to share? Uh, just to come, uh, you know, check us out. Wherever you happen to be or where we happen to be at the same time, please come out and hang out. We'll have a good time. And just support local music in general um, because there will never be mainstream music if you don't support your local guys and, and help them get up there where they want to be for, you know, however l long that happens to be for them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that same whole thing he just <laughs> said. It's very important <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, definitely check us out. Uh, keep your eye. We should be putting out some new music. Uh, hopefully, in the next few months coming up here. So yeah, keep real, an eye out. real quick, I just thought of the name for the festival for all the bands. Yeah, yeah, dude. Space Jam. Space Jam. <laughs> oh God. Dude. Uh, it's yeah. just the name of the festival. Space Jam. Yeah, dude. That's all the space bands. <laughs> Oh man. With a Z? Maybe we <laughs> 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 uh fucking A man. Alright guys, well thanks a lot, man. Appreciate having you guys on. Thank you very and, much. Uh, this was an awesome experience, so uh look forward to seeing you Oh, you guys playing yeah. anywhere? Do you guys want to announce that? Or you guys I think uh the closest show we have is gonna be a hometown show if you wanna come see what we're doing out here. It's gonna be at Archie's four eight nine East County Lion Road. Also, Big Heads, we're going to be playing um, October 28th, which is going to be a really killer Halloween party. And you should come out and see what the fuck we're all about. Yeah, we're also doing Penn State the uh, 22nd, 23rd, doing a house show up there. And September, sorry, September 22nd and 23rd, doing a house show up there, so I can't give you the address. But hit us up. And we're supposed possibly playing Zeno's Pub or uh, First Pub up in Penn State, so trying to get the that booked up. E Elon Musk, send us to the moon, and we'll be the first band to play the moon. I'm just putting that out there. Space Pizza, man! Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. <laughs>